riding my mountain bike a little while ago down gravel road here black cat <laughs> crossroad right in front of me y'all never guess what happened after that i'm dale verts i'm gonna tell you in just a second man So, riding my mountain bike, <clears throat> big old rocks, loose gravel, dangerous. Well, <clears throat> it could be. And a freaking black cat crossed the road, I mean, 15 foot in front of me. <clears throat> you know what happened? Nothing at all. Come on, y'all. Superstitions. I didn't do any research. I thought about plugging the old laptop here. Fish and superstitions. I know six, seven folks that fish that that whole black cat thing blows them out of the water. And one of them watches the channel. <clears throat> he just told me the other day, don't like black cats. <clears throat> Show me where in the scheme, the universe, the way things work, and a cat in the road has anything to do with anything. Show. For, we, that, that's Isaac Asimov, not Albert Einstein. That's just so weird. Bananas in the boat. I had never heard of that until I came back to fishing a few years ago. Lord, the bushels of bananas have been through my boats over the years and never had a thought. And I had some pretty daggum bad days, but I had a lot of great days. I uh, regularly take bananas to snack on the boat. Banana is like the ultimate fruit for eating in a boat. And the wrapper, no big deal. Yeah, it's biodegradable. <laughs> I, I forgot something about a boat hauling bananas sank once or something. You know what? A boat hauling cannonball sank once too. Uh, grown up man worried about a fruit in the boat. I've had other fruits in the boat that were way worse than bananas, trust me. So where's all this come from? Because of a boat sinking? What, how does that in any way relate to bass fishing? There's so many more things to be worrying about when it comes to fishing. I don't know how many folks over the years I've fished with it did not know how to retie often. That's bad luck that you make for yourself. I don't believe in bad luck, good luck per se. I know for a fact that you can make your own good luck and you make your own bad luck. <clears throat> good luck is simply working hard, <clears throat> being ready when opportunities present themselves. That's good luck. Bad luck a lot of times is trailer maintenance, wheel bearings, uh, not retying often enough, using crappy material, crappy line, whatever. That adds up to bad, oh, I have nothing bad luck. Well, you're a lazy bugger who never does anything to get over the bad luck. Now, I've had my share of good things happen, my share of bad things happen. I don't think you've even done I'm pretty sure the bad luck has outshone the good luck. But I ain't never gonna blame it on no nanners and no cats. What else, it's my, it's my grapefruit. What's grapefruit? Really? <clears throat> now, if I had grapefruit in a boat, I'd be too busy. I don't like grapefruit. What else is there? I'm not going to look it up. I'll let you guys tell me. And do you have any theories, suppositions, trepidations? What are you scared of? I'd be way more scared of a redhead woman in the back of my boat than I would a grapefruit. <laughs> it's just a short little one here, y'all. I just don't get it. <clears throat> I don't get how modern... We know better. We have fuel injection. We have GPS. Y'all have cell phones. I don't. It'd be bad luck if I had a cell phone. Black cats, there's two of them. Just right down the road, right there. Just right over there. Two black ones. I see them daily crossing the road. <clears throat> maybe, well, maybe that's how I'm not catching a lot of fish lately. Huh. Maybe I need to rethink this thing just a little bit. Wow. Nope, it ain't happening. Besides, y'all, I'm going to tell you something that you may not know. 
as a hillbilly, hickbilly, mountain man, modern day old timer, trapper, hunter, fisherman, plant gatherer, survivalist, woodsman, what they call it, homesteader. I found, that's what my wife and I are called. We're called homesteaders. Because we can, we whatever. But I'm going to tell you from years and years of experience. Ain't got any black cats. All cats are out to get you eventually one way or the other. It's just a fact. That's why they don't like dogs. Because they know dogs are on your side. That is absolutely as truthful as it gets. God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about black cats, grapefruit, bananas. I mean, I mean, Joe Biden's like the president. Anything can happen.